So here we have a functions question. And the first part, I know it's only one mark, but it's uh, nice to do it properly. When you substitute out the x, please sub replace it with a bracketed 5. So um, f of 5 means that we're going to take the x out, and wherever we see an x, we're going to replace it with a bracketed 5. So let's write it down like that, please. So here we go. So not an x, but a bracketed 5, minus 2, and of course 3 5 is 15, take away 2. So the answer is 13, one mark. Lovely. Okay, so for the second part, what does it say? It says we've got to find an inverse function uh, that works when x is greater than or equal to 5. So um, remember, when you're finding inverses, your y becomes your x and your x becomes your y. Um, so I need to have, I'm going to write g of x as equal to y, and I'm going to now invert it. And what that means is that everywhere I see a y, I'm going to put an x, and everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a y. This is so that I can reflect the, 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 the curve in the line y equals x. All right, so uh, if I put this equal to zero, I've got a quadratic in y um, equal to zero. I'm allowed to use the quadratic formula, or I could complete the square if I wanted to. Uh, there's lots of ways I could go about this. Uh, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So what's y equal to? Which is what we're looking for, isn't it? What is y equal to? Well, that's equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared, 4ac, all over 2a, isn't it? So if I start filling that in, um, I've got my minus b, which is plus 20, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 400, minus 4, times by 2, times by 9, minus x. Okay, so if I tidy that up, um, I'll keep the 20 plus or minus just for now. Uh, I can definitely do something here. What's 400 to take away 9 to 72? 400 to take away 72 is what, 328? Is that right? And um, minus 8 times by minus x is plus 8x, all over 4. Now, I suspect that I can divide 328 by 8, so I could take out a root 8 from that top expression, couldn't I? I'm just checking on my calculator. Yeah, equals 41. So I could rewrite this as y equals 20 plus or minus root 8 times by root 41 plus x. That's still true, isn't it? And of course, root 8, as my calculator would tell me, is equal to 2 root 2. And if that's the case, I could divide 3 by 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 2 root 2 divided by 4 is going to be uh, root 2 over 2 times by the square root of 41 plus x. And I've only got one more thing to think about. The, the, they do say in the question that it has to be x is greater than 5. So I want to do the 5 plus that and not 5 take away because that would give me a y value which is much smaller, which I don't want. So um, I think the answer is that. Okay, that is the inverse function. And I could have written g minus 1 x etc. Okay, um, so do pause and we, yep, I think we've done all right. You can see that they brought the, the square root of 2 into, but that's exactly what we've written and what they've written is exactly the same thing. And that OE on the mark screen means or equivalent, so we would get five marks for that question.